Hello everyone. So today I am going to show you how to order title in Qualia. Um, so to start, if you don't have an account, I did set up a short link. So if you go to https colon forward slash forward slash bit bit dot lee l y forward slash Qualia connect. Make sure that the Q and the C are capitalized and click enter. Then it's going to take you to the sign up screen for you to get into Qualia. And you'll have to fill in your email address. Um, you can choose to um, disable the two factor authentication so you don't have to put in your phone number. Then it's going to ask you your role are you a real estate agent, settlement agent, um, et cetera, an assistant? Um, and you'll select real estate agent. And then you're going to walk through and answer any of the other remaining questions. And eventually you'll get to this screen. Now, when you first sign up, you're not going to have any open orders at the bottom. You're just going to be blank. This is only showing me because I've already opened several or been added to several. So now when you go through to order title and you're on this screen, this is the dashboard. If you're ever in and you don't see it like this, click on this logo at the top left and it'll bring you here. Um, so when you go to order, you're going to click on this place order button that's in like a dark gray over to the right towards the center. First, you'll fill in the property, which as you can see, I've done here with Moore's Drive and it will actually autofill the information. So if I do like 106 Columbine Drive, it will fill in the other information as well. So you'll watch that and you'll see it update. Then you'll choose the settlement agency. When you click the drop down, you're only going to see um, one abstract because that's your only option. Um, so then when you go to the realtor, for me, it says administrative assistant because that's what I put my name in as. So it's allowing me to select myself. Um, typically, you'll see your name here and that's what you would select. And then you'll choose the role. So for this, if we're ordering title, then we are the selling agent. So then you'll put in the purchase price, the loan amount, and the loan number if you have those. Typically, when I'm placing one, I'll only put the purchase price because that's the only information I have. Then after that, you can add your files. When you're ordering title, the four or five files that you'll want to add are the agreement of sale, the MLS printout, the buyer's authorization to order title, and the affiliated business um, disclosure. So those four are the ones that you will always need to add. If you want to, as a safety precaution, also add um, the buyer's agent intake form. If you add that here, that can help to safeguard you from accidentally uh, messing up in any information. Then they'll have that on hand so that they can go through and make sure that all of those questions are filled out the same way. So sometimes that's handy, especially because um, if you fill in the contact information on that sheet, um, and you attach that as a part of your regular process, then it prevents you from running into as many issues if you forget to fill in the context here, which is our next step. So after you've added all of your documents, you should go to the context tab and add the context that you have. So we are the selling agent. So we would fill in the selling agent. So this role is what we just selected. The job title is gonna be real estate agent and then we're gonna search for a contact. So if you've added any already, you can search for the contact, but if you're just starting off, you're gonna to have to add those manually. So the organization name is gonna be ALT1 Advisors. And let's say that Angela Morgan is the one that I'm um, creating this on behalf of. So then I'll put in Angela Morgan and I'll put in <clears throat> her email, which her email happens to be Angela Morgan Realtor at gmail.com. Okay, so now once you've got that information in, you'll click this plus button at the top right that will allow you to add another contact. Um, so for instance, you would want to, as um, the selling agent, you would wanna add the buyer's information. So you would go in here, um, buyer is the role type, entity type, individual or organization. Um, most cases are gonna be individuals and then you'll add their information. So John, so <laughs> an email, John so at gmail.com. Social security number, if you have it, 
enter it. It's not absolutely necessary, but if you have it, it can definitely help to save some time. Um, and then on title, so if they're like um, married with someone and you're adding the second the partner who is not going to actually be listed on the title, then you could select no for the married partner that won't be on the title. Um, but this is our first buyer. It, the first person you're adding should be the person that is on the title. So we'll click on title, yes. And then for when you go to add um, their status, if you select married, it's gonna ask them for the info, then you can put on title as no, if they're not on the title, yes, if they are. And you can also do unmarried. If you're not sure, um, like it's got all these other options as well. If you're not sure, just put unknown and that'll be sufficient. You can, this can be updated later if you find out what the status is and it's different from what you expected. So once you're done adding um, all of the information, add another selling agent and then change the job title to assistant because I would be assisting you in this scenario. So then you would put Realty One Group Advisors, the first name. You can do administrative and then assistant if you'd like, um, or you can do Cassandra Zimmerman. It doesn't really matter because it's only going to be how it's represented in this order. Um, the email is what's going to matter most. So make sure that when you go to add me, you're adding the admin email. So Realty One Group Advisors at gmail.com and make sure the one is numeric. So this is the email that you'll enter and then I will get the notification that I've been added and then I'll be able to see where this order is at and any tasks that get added to it. So once you've got that all in, just click submit and then your order will go in and you'll see it on that dashboard listed at the bottom.